In the face of the biggest and deadliest ever Ebola outbreak, did the world step up to the plate? Gruesome and heartbreaking images were beamed across the globe in the summer. This man was left dying in the street in the Guinea capital Conakry, people too scared to touch him for fear of becoming infected. The next day, more than four months since the outbreak was declared, the World Health Organization announced an international public health emergency and help began trickling in. Britain took the international lead in Sierra Leone, sending troops to the capital to help train health workers and pledged to build a new treatment centre, which we visited in October. The important thing is that we do something. It's never too late to start saving lives. What's the difference? Who would we be if we didn't step into this and do what the best we can now? France pledged 20 million euros to the fight in Guinea, including funding health workers like these to treat patients. The US promised to deploy 3,000 troops to build treatment centres across Liberia. Other countries also sent help, including Cuba, which deployed almost 200 desperately needed doctors as the already weak health systems began crumbling further. But the outbreak had already taken hold and international efforts to control it were playing catch-up. I spoke to the Director General of the World Health Organization earlier this month. It is fair to say uh, the whole world, including WHO, failed to see what was unfolding, what was going to happen in front of our eyes. With the benefit of hindsight, I can tell you, we could have mounted a much, much more robust response. With early treatments, people like these young girls we met in Sierra Leone are surviving Ebola. The WHO says it's vital that communities understand what Ebola is and how it spreads so they know when and how to look for help. So how do we tackle Ebola? By sticking to four tactics. Actors and footballers with links to the region are supporting efforts to get those messages across. New cases in some parts of the worst affected countries are now beginning to slow but the virus remains on top of efforts to contain it. I think the virus is still running ahead of us, but the situation is much better than in September. We are now hunting the virus, tra chasing after the virus, and then, you know, hopefully uh, we can bring it down to zero. It's an ambitious hope for the coming months. The WHO is calling on the world not to be complacent and says there's still a long way to go before West Africa is finally declared free of Ebola. Tulip Mazumdar, BBC News.